disclaimer alert, the intro to this video is very windy. I was stood outside um, and the wind does ruin the audio, So, but please do bear with it because it does get better. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Louise. I'm a little space at the bottom of the party. So, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I really wanted to do a fitness video and a bit of an accountability video. Because all notice that we are in the outside world today, not my usual setting. That's a very good reason for that. So I don't know about the camera, but we're in isolation for three stages. First stage was the creativity stage, where I wanted to create loads of looks, I was inspired by everything. Um, and I basically just wanted to be creative. Stage two was like my arts and crafty stage where um, I wanted to draw lots, I created a journal, I've done a vision board, lots of like arts and crafty stuff. Um, and then came stage three where, where honestly I can't be bothered to do anything. I mean, getting out of my pajamas in the morning is a struggle. So I have heard somewhere that it takes 21 days to break a habit and I really wanted to put that to the test. So in three weeks today, I actually go back to work. So I thought I really needed something to give me a bit of a boost, get my head back in the game, get me ready to go back to work. So I set myself the challenge of running one mile every day for the next three weeks, just to see if I can kickstart that new habit of getting back in the game. I am going to do the same loop every single day and I'm gonna bring you guys along for the journey. So I will be wearing a GoPro on my chest, um, just so that you can make sure that I'm not cheating and that I am doing the same loop every day. At the moment, I run about an 11 and a half minute mile-ish. Um, I would like to maybe get that down to eight minutes. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so I will do a little warm up every day. I will do a little cool down every day. Um, so yeah, this is day one. I hope you enjoy. Come along for the ride. Ooh, so that is mile one done. I am very out of breath, actually not too difficult all the sun's in my eyes so Strava says uh, I did a pace of 10 minutes and 29 seconds uh, which was 1.1 miles so just about 10 and a half minutes that's not bad so day one is done see you tomorrow morning everybody this is day two um i am a little bit hungover today um i ended up having a few drinks last night maybe one too many um so today's gonna be interesting uh probably not my brightest idea to have a few drinks when i've only just started a new fitness challenge um but there we go uh yeah so i'm gonna this is my login for day two um let's see how i get on so that is day two done Oh, running hungover, not the one. That was really hard work. However, did have a really good time. Nine minutes, 47 seconds. So I've broken that 10 minute mark in two days. So I've got good hopes about breaking it down to eight minutes, but um, I'm now gonna go and die on the sofa. See you tomorrow. Hi. So this is day three of my running challenge. Um, honestly, this morning I cannot be bothered. I'm not feeling hungover anymore, which is great, but it's cold, it's cloudy, it's gray, um, and I could have just stayed in bed and watched Netflix, but I'm not. I'm here, I'm out and out, I'm dressed. Um, so let's see how we get on with this. Oh, I've got another. I've only just started and already I'm dreading it. <laughs> so that is day three done. That was particularly tough. But um, I got my average down to nine minutes, 27 seconds. So we're going in the right direction. But when you're not feeling it, that's rough. But yeah, we're good. Uh, this is day four. Uh, very gray again and very wet. So this should be fun. Oh, look at the state of my hair. <laughs> um, they say the first mile is the hardest. They don't lie, that was really tough. Um, really starting to feel it in my knees and my legs. So I'm gonna go on a really good stretch and maybe a long hot bath because it is drizzly and wet and gray out here. And I'm gonna go indoors where it's warm. See you tomorrow. Uh, so this is day five. Um, I'm starting to feel it in my legs now a little bit more. Um, starting to feel more like I can just get up and get it done. Um, but yeah, starting to feel a bit, bit achy. 
Um, but yeah, let's uh, see how we get on. Um, I certainly don't feel as tired today um, as I have done previous days, although the fatigue in my legs is mega. Um, much slower time today, back up to just over 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, much slower, but I'm not surprised because I'm really starting to feel it in my legs. Um, I think tomorrow I'm going to run the same loop, but I'm going to do it backwards because I'm getting a little bit sick of doing the same loop. Um, so yeah, wish me luck for tomorrow. So this is day, uh, this is day six. Um, actually, this is probably the first morning that I've wanted to get up and get it done. Um, feeling a lot more energized, a lot more like enthusiastic about the idea of getting up and having a run. Um, so it's obviously heading in the right direction, as I said yesterday. Um, today I'm going to do the same loop but backwards just for a bit of a change so let's see how we get on that was particularly tough um there's a reason I don't do that loop that way around because the start of the run is a really big uphill bit um so that was tough again a bit slower again today 10 minutes 15 seconds so I'm going the wrong direction um but honestly I think that's because I need to give my legs a rest day um because my legs are really tired um but yeah, overall, I feel much fitter already. I don't feel like, obviously I'm still quite sweaty, um, but I don't feel like, I feel like it's getting easier. It doesn't feel quite as tough. Um, so yeah, see you tomorrow. Morning, so this is day seven. Um, actually feeling like it's getting a bit easier, like I'm feeling definitely fitter. I'm definitely feeling um, like a bit more in the zone, like it's becoming a bit more routine and just getting up and getting it done. Um, it is currently 6.30 a.m., which is obviously very early, um, but I was laying in bed awake, so I thought I would get up and get it done. So I'm gonna do the same loop again, but I'm gonna go back to the original way of how I would normally run it, just because yesterday was way too tough. Um, so yeah, let's see how I get on. Um, so, definitely feeling fitter. Um, I'm very sweaty this morning. Um, oh, my legs are really, really tired, but the rest of my body feels much, much better. Um, I really, really pushed today, hence why my hair fell out. Um, yeah, I really, I really tried really hard, so I got um, my time back down to exactly 10 minutes. So, a little bit quicker than yesterday, which is really good. Um, I definitely think I'm feeling like I need a rest day. My poor legs are feeling very tired, but generally on the whole, I feel good. So this is day eight. The sun is shining again, which is absolutely lovely. Um, I have decided that today I'm gonna try a new route just because I think I need a little bit of something different. So as usual, I will bring you along for the run. Um, but yeah, let's see how we get on. So the new route, I think definitely helped with my time. Um, it was 9 minutes 13 seconds today for a mile, which is really good, really, really pleased with that. Um, all flat, this loops, there's no uphill. Um, still very tired legs, um, and I pushed real hard to try and get a really good time, but um, it's far too hot for long sleeve trousers, I should have worn shorts, but at least the sunshine is back. So um, yeah, we'll see how I get on tomorrow. See you tomorrow. So this is day nine, as you can see, very, very sunny. Lovely, lovely day. Um, I did have a rest day yesterday, um, just because, well, for two reasons. One, because I felt that I needed to rest my legs. Um, and two, I had a few cheeky little drinks and I was a little bit hungover yesterday. Um, so I'm still feeling a little bit tender this morning. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, I'm just gonna take it slow today and we're gonna see how I get on. So let's do it. So the warm weather definitely makes it more difficult. Um, Good time again though, nine, just over nine and a half minutes, which is really good, really pleased with that. Um, I don't think one rest day is quite enough because I can still feel it in my knees and my legs. Um, but it's quite nice to have had a day off yesterday and yeah, hopefully tomorrow will be a bit better when I don't feel quite so tender still. So yeah, I thought I'd see you tomorrow. So this is day 10, which obviously marks pretty much the halfway point. Um, I'm feeling very lazy, like I can't really be bothered, but I'm gonna go and get it done. It's very sunny, it's very warm, so let's see how we get on. That was actually a little bit easier. Really good time, nine minutes, uh, 13 seconds, which is really good time. My best time so far. Um, I feel like tired out, but I feel fitter, if that makes any sense. Um, and I actually feel so much better for doing that. And I think if you can take one thing from this video, it's that even when you cannot be bothered, just get up and go and do 10 minutes exercise because you feel so much better for it afterwards. Um, I'm going to jump in the shower and I am then ready to start my day. 
So this is day 11. Um, I'm actually back to work today. Um, I've gone back a little bit earlier, albeit working from home. Um, so I'm up super early. It is like 7 a.m. Um, up to get my run done ready for the day. So let's see how I get on. So my hair actually fell out. I had that all pinned up, that all fell down. But apart from that, actually not a bad run. Nine minutes, 45 seconds-ish. I'm feeling quite tired today. Um, not so much in my legs. I think my legs are starting to get used to it, but I just feel tired. Um, maybe it's because I know I'm back at work. I don't know. Obviously, I committed to doing the three weeks, so I will still do that even though I'm back to work already. Um, but yeah, I'm a bit disappointed that I'm getting slower again. I've had a couple of days with really good times. But um, yeah, we'll see how we get on tomorrow. Uh, so this is day 12. I'm officially way into the second half so um, I actually feel quite good this morning I don't feel particularly tired um, I feel all right so let's see how we get on I'm not sure if it's because I carb loaded last night because I had um, a very naughty very greasy massive pizza or whether it's the music choice um, Wilkinson definitely is the one for running um, but I smashed it, um, smashed the nine minute mark, my glasses are steaming up, um, eight minutes, 57 seconds. So I'm absolutely chuffed as nuts with that. Um, I was running as fast as I possibly could. Um, so yeah, very, very happy. I'm really glad to see that the progress is going in the right direction. Hello everyone, welcome to day 13. So we are nearly two weeks in. Um, I had to think about that then. I'm feeling, I'm a little bit tired. I really, really went for it yesterday. So my um, calves are a little bit achy. Um, so I think I'm just gonna have like a bit of an active rest day today. So obviously I'm still gonna run, um, but I'm just gonna take it a bit easy and not really worry about my time too much. It's very gray, wet and drizzly, as you can probably tell. Um, so yeah, just gonna get this done so I can hurry up and get back indoors. I will see you tomorrow. So here we are, day 14. Um, honestly, I think all this running is starting to catch up with me. I am feeling very tired, um, very achy, just a bit, um, yeah, but I'm still dressed. I'm still smashing it, <laughs> ish. Um, so let's see how we get on today. Again, I think I'm just gonna take it really easy today. I'm not gonna worry about my time. Um, had quite a good time yesterday, like 10 and a half minutes for a slow run, that's not bad. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna take it nice and easy probably for the next couple of days. Um, and then just to try and give my legs a bit of a like recovery um, and then really focus on trying to get my time down for the next, for the last few days of my run, of my challenge. So I will see you tomorrow, bye. Hello, welcome to day 15. So today marks the start of my last week, which I have to say I'm very happy about. I thought today that I would um, discover a new mile route just because I fancy a bit of change. Um, so again, not gonna be tracking my time today. I'm just gonna go and discover a new route. Then from tomorrow, I'll be back on trying to beat, beat, that, beat that time. Um, it's very sunny, as you can see, which is lovely, very warm. Um, certainly beats running in the rain. Um, yesterday I had quite a good time. I'm just under 10 minutes in for a slow run. Like, that's amazing. So I'm definitely noticing the benefits of it. Um, so yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Good morning all. Welcome to day 16. Um, so today is my first day of physically going back to work. Um, so I am up super early, ready for my commute to work today. Um, but obviously I still need to do my run, so I am up and ready to go. So we'll see how I get on today. For the last leg of my challenge, I'm really gonna try and like get that time down. So let's see how I get on. So my new route is actually a bit longer than a mile. It's about a mile and a half, but I just walk the last bit um, once I've done my mile. So I've actually cooled down a little bit now, but as you can see, I'm still very sweaty. Um, that was really hard work. My legs feel fine, my chest feels fine. It's now more my joints, so I've got dodgy knees and dodgy ankles. Um, and they're starting to give me a little bit of aggro now where I'm like, it's that constant impact of obviously, I'm steaming up, um, that constant impact of um, obviously hitting the pavement. But <clears throat> good time, bang on nine minutes. So we're, we're, I'm definitely heading in the right direction. Um, I 
quite sure I'm going to make eight minutes. Um, I'd settle for eight and a half. Um, I'm sure I can stream 30 seconds from somewhere in this week. So we'll see how I get on tomorrow. Bye. Morning all. Welcome to day 17. Um, so I've actually had a couple of days off. I've really, really hurt my ankle. Um, I don't know if it's the impact of all the running or what. Um, but I mean, I do have dodgy, a dodgy ankle anyway. Um, but yeah, I've really uh, tweaked it. So I had a couple of days off um, to try and let it heal that hasn't really worked but i'm so close to finishing now i don't really want to give up um so i'm just gonna walk it today um i might end up walking the last few miles we'll see um but yeah this morning i'm just gonna walk it just to be moving um and we'll see how we get on i'm not gonna track the time it's not really worth it morning all so this morning i'm actually going to do something a little bit different um i've only got four miles left to run um but what with tweaking my ankle um and officially being back at work um the running is becoming increasingly more difficult so what i thought i would do is i'm just going to bash out the last four miles this morning just to get it done and um see how i get on i will probably be taking it easy obviously where my ankle is still giving me a little bit like a few issues n not major um, it's definitely feeling much, much better after a few days rest. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would get the four miles done. Um, and I would, I'm would i intrigued to see actually whether all this running has made any difference to like long running. So let's see how I get on. And that is it, 21 miles officially done. Um, that was um, quite tough, but I had a really good time. Uh, I set myself the challenge of 43 minutes um which i did so really pleased with that um it's a shame i couldn't continue my last four miles like a mile every day but my joints just are not loving life so um but i'm really pleased that i've finished the 21 miles i know i've said this already but if you get anything from this video do a little bit of exercise every day every other day walk just do something that makes you feel good um because it really does set you up for the day um I'm feeling, other than my achy joints, um, I feel much, much fitter than when I started. Um, I don't ache hardly as much, like my muscles physically don't ache nearly as much as they did when I first started. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up um, and do follow me on my Instagram channel, Emma Louise Beauty. That is completely not what you would find here it's all makeup looks um please do click this uh, like and subscribe button and stay tuned for other fun videos until next time bye